our first few videos, we're going to be looking at rebuilding power stroke engines. Now, my machinist here in Wichita, he does a great job. I love the guy, he does really awesome work. Martin Machine, look him up. He knows exactly what he's doing. Um, and in this particular case, we've gone for a 30 over rebuild. So basically, what I've done so far is I've put the crank and the cam in and that's it. Um, he does all the matching and all the miking of the piston to cylinder clearance. Um, the ring in gap clearance and all that. If you're going to rebuild your own engine, find you a good machinist that knows what he's doing. Always, always, always make sure you put a set of calipers minimum on the journals, the bearing journals, and on all the parts you receive, the pistons, everything. It may have bigger uh, main bearings in it, you don't know, so you need to check it over first. Do it yourself every time. Don't just expect it to be correct. So for right now, basically with this block, all we've done is we put the cam bearings in and we put the main bearings in. Now always remember, big tip, make sure the main bearings are dry when you put them in. So the next thing you need to worry about when you're putting these together is lining up the cam to the crank. In order to do that, there's a circle on both the cam gear and on the crank gear. You slide it the rest of the way in and the bolts are held in with, uh, I believe it's 18 foot-pounds. Now let's talk about your connecting rods. Now your connecting rods only go in one way and each an individual crank is balanced for the rotating assembly. So when you pull it apart, you need to make sure that you keep the rods in order. An easy way to do it is put a stamp on it. It's really important that on these, you see that there's a right way and a wrong way to put them in. If you look at each side, there's less of a bevel there and more of a bevel there. Now those bevels are really, really important. Inside, on the crank, I'll, I'll just show you. There's a bevel right there. So you always match up the bevel with the fillet on the connecting rod. So your bevel here, so your bevel here will go like that. connecting rods to go in and I'm getting ready to put them on first thing I'm gonna do is give them a bath plus you want to make sure you get this surface here as dry and oil free as possible Don't use nitrile gloves. <laughs> oh, oh, that's awful. Zoob! There we go. Oh, that didn't work out so well, did it? <laughs> All right. I got one more to do. 
Last one. Gloves are for pussies anyway. So the next thing we're gonna do is put in the keeper pins for the wrist pin. Now one of the things you need to remember is you cannot line up the gaps. So you see all the gaps are in a row? You don't want to do that. The way I do it is I'll take one, I'll turn a third, and then a third, and then a third. So you won't get any of the uh, scoring down the cylinder. Uh, that usually comes, again, when, when the rings are lined up, it's a problem. It creates an uneven wear on the cylinder. So make sure that those are offset, okay? So, again, cylinder one, counterweights at this end. My bevel is here, counterweights here. I'm going to go up against there. My cam side arrow is pointing down. Okay, goes together just like that. These are fiddly, they'll piss you off. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. See that notch right there? And there's a notch right there. Okay, the way I do it, put the notch in like that, and then push down on that side, okay? Actually, one of the few 
special tools that you'll actually need. It's a ring compressor so we can get the pistons inside the block. Um, now, if I have to explain to you what this is, you really have no business building your own engine. But um, we'll let that one slide for now. Anyways, they're not that expensive. Buy it at O'Reilly's, AutoZone, whatever. The next thing I like to do is run some oil around the cylinders, kind of lube up the cylinders. Uh, and then also, I'll take the oil around the oiler ring and I'll just kind of pre-fill, oops, fill the oiler ring, get a little lubrication on it. Just like that. Okay, and then same with these. Next thing I like to do is put a little coating of oil inside this. Now, this is cylinder number one. We've got it top dead center, and cam direction is going that way towards the V. So we'll take this, throw a little of that on. Nice little coating. Just like that. The uh, connecting rods are 53 and 80, if I remember right. Hello, wife. Hey, Why am I not video on you? Because the tripod is doing it right now. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up with a montage of me doing this. So you'll never hear us talk. 
kind of like the stinger that I made with me talking in the first part of that video. I wasn't actually saying anything. I was saying things like, yeah, this is me talking. Nobody will ever know what I'm saying because nobody's going to hear the audio, so. Connecting rods and pistons are done. So, moving on. <laughs>